Hi guys, welcome back to Nilo's Teaches. It's been a while. Hope you guys are doing well. Thank you to all my new subscribers and to the old ones. I want you to know that I care. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make a two type of corset: one with a bra cup and the other with your normal basic body. Okay, so the first is going to be the one with a bra cup. And at the center front here, you're going to mark half inch. This place I'm pointing at is 0 0.5 inch. Okay. And then you're going to place your bra up like so, making sure that it's touching the mark here. Okay. You place it like so. And then you're going to take your on the bust line. My client bust point is 11 while the under bust is 14 okay so i'm going to mark the under bust like so 14 and then i'll take the half length which is the waistline and it's 17 okay and then i'll be adding two inches for allowance which is 19 okay and then i'm going to connect the line draw a line there okay so this is the under bust line and here is the waist line which is the half length and this is two inches for joining allowance or sewing allowance okay you can always trim that out after you must have joined your um cup okay so now i'm going to mark the dart and the dart i'm working with nipple to nipple is eight divided by two is um four plus half inch for sewing allowance so i'm going to be taking 4.5 all right so your measurement should start from here and not here all right so you start from this point and tick the 4.5 all right so i'm going to take the same thing at the waistline and also on the on the bust line okay so i'll connect with a straight line So I'm, go I'm going to mark half an inch on both sides of the dart line and then I'll connect upward. So you're going to bring back the bra cup and place it the way you placed before. Okay, so I'm going to place the bra up the way I placed it before in order to get my bust to get to mark my bust circumference. Okay, so whichever bust circumference you're working with, if your bust is 40, you get a bra up size 40. If your bust is 39, you get a bra up size 39 or 38, whichever size that is your bust circumference. So you place the cup like so, and then you're going to take your measurement. So the bust I'm working with is 40 divided by 4 is 10. All right. So I'm going to take 10 like this and then i'll be adding two inches for sewing allowance all right and then you move to the waistline you move to the waistline and mark your your waist circumference divided by four your waist circumference divided by four plus that one inch and then two inches for sewing allowance so i'm marking three so i'm going to measure whatever i have here i'm going to do the same at the allowance line okay so i'll take the same thing here and then i'll connect this line together right and then i'm going to bring back the cup again you place the cup the way you place it before again you place it the way you placed before and then you're going to draw the armhole this is going to be the armhole all right this is going to be the armhole area and then you're going to trace the cup 
round like so okay I'm tracing the cup out now all right so I'm trying to highlight the line so on that line on that cup I'm going to be marking half an inch inward this is for um, sewing allowance for the cup because if you did not add half an inch inward like so if you are going to mark i mean sew the cup you're going to be having issues you'll notice that it will not fit properly okay so you add the half inch allowance inward like this All right, and that is all for this corset as you can see very easy so simple so I'm going to kind of label this point so that you know uh, I forgot to label them so I'm going to actually do, do the labeling now and if you have any question you can still ask me okay this is the allowance line and this is the waistline and here is the on the bust line okay so i'll be cutting this out now and if you have any issue or question you can ask me okay and if you are new to this channel and you've not subscribed what are you waiting for i would love for you to click on the subscribe button below and subscribe join the family and also check out my old videos you may find something interesting there all right so after cutting i'm not going to be cutting the cup i'll be cutting this point this place out later but first of all i'm going to use this to trace out the back panel okay so for the back panel i'm going to be marking two inches i am not going to be using zipper allowance for this i'll be using uh what is it called lesson i'll be lessing the back of this corset okay so i'll be marking minus in two inches from the main measurement okay so right now i'm going to be marking two two inches from the center back like this two inches two inches two inches two inches two inches and then i'll connect so if you are making use of zipper, if you want to use zipper, this is going to serve as your zipper allowance. Okay, this is your zipper allowance and you can use 1.5 or 2 inches. All right. So if you are using zipper, this is how you are going to place this pattern. But as I said earlier, I'm not going to be using zipper for this. So I'll be minusing 2 inches from this. But if you are using zipper, this is how you are going to place your pattern like so place it this way and then you trace out exactly okay exactly this pattern that is what you're going to trace but in my own case i'm not using zipper so i'm announcing two inches from this block so i'm going to shift it this way okay and then i'll trace everything exactly like the front panel okay so you trace it exactly <laughs> Okay, so you're going to mark the armhole like so, so that you will not make mistake. The armhole must match each other, the both sides. Okay, the sides should be equal. And then you trace everything out the way I am tracing it. Okay, and then remember to mark your dart. You trace your dart like so. Okay. This is going to be your dart line. So what I'm going to do now is to connect the armhole line first of all before connecting the dart. So here is the armhole line. I'm going to connect it straight like so. And then next I'm going to connect my dart. So this is the dart line. I'm going to mark straight and on both sides I'm going to mark half an inch
and then I'll connect upward like so okay so I'll be cutting this part out okay this part excuse me this part is going off okay so this is what I'm going to be using so if you like you can leave the back like this but in the case of my clients I'll be coming down by two inches you can come down by one inch if you don't want your back to be too open and then you can either connect like a V like this or circle so in my case we are using circle okay we're using a round shape like so so this is how the back is going to look like okay so i will be cutting here off okay if you like you can still leave you can come down by one inch and connect or you can leave it the way it is okay so now i'll be cutting this out All right, so this is what we have after cutting and this is the front panel now I'm going to cut out the cup side All right, so and we have our corset okay so the corset is ready this is how one of the easiest way to cut your corset with bra cup okay so you're going to be cutting this on fold okay you're cutting this particular one on fold so I'm going to indicate how you are going to cut it so that you know you cut on fold. So this shows me I'm going to be cutting that one on fold and I'll be cutting two pieces of this. Okay. Okay. Two pieces of this and the other one on fold. All right. And that is all for our corset with bra cup and the next we are going to do is okay let me show you why the side should be equal as you can see the armhole is matching each other so the side should be equal so that your corset will fit properly all right so now we are going to be cutting the cup cover for the uh bra cup okay so i'm going to measure the bra cup like so So what I have here is 7.75, but I'm going to be cutting 9 inches. So you get your fabric and fold. Make sure the length is um, up to 9 inches. Okay. And then you fold again. You're going to fold four times just as if you're cutting a flay. And we're going to divide the 9 inches by 2, which is 4.5. So I'm going to be taking 4.5 here. So I'm marking 4.5, So you're going to mark whatever is your measurement round, like so, like you are marking a flay. You're cutting a flay, okay? So I'm going to connect together. And then I'll cut it out. So when you open it up, 
this is what you are going to have so at the both side i'm going to mark one one inches at the both sides so i'm trying to show you is exactly nine inches okay after cutting you'll notice that is exactly the same measurement you cut okay so on both sides i'm going to mark 0 0.75 here i'm also going to mark 0 0.75 that's is it three quarter or what is it called not up to one inch 0 0.75 and then I'll connect to this center point here. So I'm going to notch the center point here. So um, I'll connect it upward to the center point. Like this. And also connect this other point. This other side. Like so. Then I'm going to blend the center here so that it will not be pointy and I'll cut that out so this is two pieces and you are going to join it together here like so you join it with half an inch and then you'll be cutting four of these, okay? Remember, we're using two cup, so you'll be cutting four. So after joining here, you open it up and place it on your bra cup like this. This is how it's going to look like. So the essence of this, that is to uh, enable the fabric to relax well. So you can either use fabric gum to glue this, or you use your hemming gum. Or you iron your hemming gum on it okay and then you sew around the bra cup and trim out the excess all right and that is all for this method then the next method is going to be with the basic bodies okay so here is exactly basic body i traced out here okay this is the chest line this is the bust line waistline and one inch for allowance so the only thing that is not here is the under bust measurement okay so now i'm taking my under bust measurement which is 14 okay then i'm going to draw a line there like so okay so this is the under bust line and this basic body don't have allowance okay so we are going to be altering everything here and then add allowance so now i'm going to take my underboss circumference divide by four here and then i'll check what i have left here and this is 1.5 i'll mark half inch on the center front and one inch on the side and then i'll connect this to the dart leg okay so just watch the way i'm going to connect like so okay so i've connected it to the dart leg the next i'm going to do is to mark 0 0.5 inch at the center front you can use 0 0.75 but i'm using 0 0.5 that is half inch so that remember it's going to be cut on fold when you open it up it's going to be one inch all right so next i'm going to take my yoke length in case you're using a yoke I'll be marking seven inches from the shoulder downward and that is also where my uh, corset cup is going to start from okay so and the next i'm going to take two inches from the bust line upward i'm going to mark two inches from the bust line upward and it's exactly where my chest line is so i'm leaving it like so and then the next i'm going to take the distance between the under bust to the bust which is 3.5 okay so i'm going to be marking the 3.5 round like so 3.5 3.5 3.5 3.5 3 3.5 3 i'll do the same at the other side too i'll mark 3.5 here too 3.5 3.5 3.5 okay so now i'm going to connect the dart 
up to where the hair yeah, connect it upward like so like this okay and i'll connect the other side also so guys you can check out my basic body tutorial in case if you don't know how to draft this okay check out my basic body tutorial then you will know how to draft a basic body and you connect this together this 3.5 i ticked around i'm going to connect it like so i'll leave the link of the basic body on the description box okay so that you go check it out and on that basic body i also have cup i also added um bust measurement i mean bust that to it so you can ignore the bust that and just do the normal basic body so guys as you can see our corset is coming out small small right so if you measure from here to that point you will notice that is 3.52 okay so the length from that point to the yoke as you can see 3.5 and then on this chest line, I'm going to mark 1.5 inch inward like this. But if you are the busty type, you can mark 1 inch. Alright, but I'm using 1.5 inch. And here I'm going to connect this to this point. From here, you connect like so. So if you notice that or if you think that the center front is too deep for you, maybe for your yoke or something, if you notice it's too deep, you can still add half inch upward. Maybe you take the measurements, like now it's 8 inches. So you can add half an inch upward. That's making it 7.5. As you can see, it's not too deep. And then you connect upward like this. I'm just I'm just showing you an instance, okay? In case you're making for somebody who is um maybe too religious or something, I don't know how to put it, or who doesn't want her cleavage to be showing, you can come down by um you can add half an inch, okay? And then you're gonna connect this 1.5 in inch here to the corset like so. To the cup okay to create the cup you connect the 1.5 inch i marked from the chest line like this okay and then you redraw your armhole okay i'm going to redraw my armhole in case you're using a yoke mm -hmm. and even though even though you're not using a yoke you can still redraw your armhole all right All right, so I'm trying to shape that well. Okay, and then the next is to connect this point here. So I'm going to place my pattern master like so. If you don't have a pattern master, you can always use your hand or you buy this um, French curve that they sell 350. If you're in Nigeria, there's a French curve that you can buy 350. Or 500 now I don't know but the last time I bought it was 350 if you watch my other corset you will notice I use that so here I'm going to mark half inch on both side and on the bust line I'll go up by half an inch this is to eliminate pointiness okay then I'll connect like so and that is that for corset too mm? so I'm gonna blend this point well and that is all for this corset all right we are true with our corset so you can still add half an inch upward here if you feel it's too deep okay but this is exactly 3.5 from the bust line upward okay and this is just perfect and you can alter the neck and every other thing you want to do with your yoke 
but in my case i'm not using a yoke so i'm just going to cut this out all right remember there is no allowance to this corset yet so i'm labeling them one two three and four all right so i will be cutting it out now all right so i'm done cutting it out this is how it's going to be when you're joining together all right okay so you add half an inch round here anyway i'm going to show you how to do that after cutting the back panel so if you're cutting two of this and you cut this one on fold so let me also indicate an arrow there to show that i'll be cutting here on fold okay two of this two of this okay the rest is going to be two two just the center front is going to be cut on fold then let's move ahead to the back panel so this is the back panel for the basic bodies okay chest line bust line waistline and one inch for the allowance so i added um and this chest line we are going to be maintaining it and here is the zipper allowance but if you're not using your zipper allowance you're going to eliminate that and we'll be maintaining that chest line so you can come in here come down here by three inches or two inches or whichever length you like and then connect straight to the point you marked or you can use a circle and connect okay so make sure you maintain that armhole line because the armhole the both side has to match with each other then i'll be folding in this zipper allowance because i will not be using zipper allowance i'll be lessing the back but if you're using zipper allowance you leave it but because i'll be lessing the back i'll be minusing two inches from these basic bodies okay so i'll be minusing two inches from this basic body remember that the basic body has no allowance yet the only allowance that is on this basic body is the that allowance that is the only thing that is here so there is no sewing allowance to the um this thing yet so i'm going to maintain this that guys i made a mistake you maintain this that not mark a new that okay so i made a mistake by marking another new that ignore this that i am marking now maintain your old that do you understand so i'm just going to take this place off now so like i said earlier maintain this old your old that ignore the new that i marked the old that is the main that ignore the new that okay maintain your old that all right maintain the old that ignore the new that so i'm going to cut this out and i am cutting out straight i'll be maintaining that line so as you can see the arm the armhole side matches with each other okay so you maintain the armhole line okay so i'm going to cut through there right now so i'm maintaining this straight line i will not be covering it or anything so i'll just use it as straight as it is and i'll be cutting the this point out okay cutting it out so you're going to maintain your old dart okay minus 
forget about this order that I marked. You maintain your old dart. Okay. All right. So I'll be cutting this to not unfold two pieces of this. I will not be cutting it on fold. Okay, you cut two pieces of this back panel. All right. And I'm going to show you how you're going to cut it on your fabric. Let's assume this is fabric. You just place it like so. Or you fold it into two because you'll be cutting two of this. If you have enough, you can fold it into two. But because this pattern is not enough, I'm just going to open it up and cut one pieces and show you how to cut, okay? So what you're going to do is to add your sewing allowance to two inches at the side here. You add to two inches here, okay? You add to two inches and then you connect and cut out your fabric okay and let me show you how to cut the front panel this is the side front you're going to place it you'll be cutting two of it you place it like so mm -hmm. and then you add the two two inches at the side this is the side front you add two two inches of your sewing allowance and in here you're going to add half half inch like so okay you add half inch all through inward okay and then for the center front if you add your half inch sewing allowance when marking your dart then no need of adding half inch inward you only add upward and do not add this side that i'm adding but if you did not add you add there if you add you add only here this cup area forget about the inside one well if you did not add your half inch when marking your dart then you have to add the half inch okay and then here i'm going to add half half inch all around the cup so you're going to add half half inch all around the cup even at the top part okay you do the same to the boat cup um, panel okay thank you guys for watching please subscribe like and share my videos see you in my next tutorial i love you guys bye